from university basketball games to office parties and holiday runs across the country to The Tonight Show, America's most popular late-night talk fest. The ugly Christmas sweater has gone mainstream. Wow. This is one of our classic designs. A few years ago, Joey Dunn, a bar manager in Chicago, won a party contest with an ugly Christmas sweater he made himself. I got a lot of compliments and people were like, hey, maybe you can make me a sweater for my next party. I'll pay you. And so he did, first selling what he calls his embellished sweaters online and now running his holiday season pop-up store for the fifth consecutive year. So we add uh, garland around some of the stockings just to give it a little more bling. Dan still makes most of his sweaters himself with the help of friends and family, but revenue has more than doubled and the new business partner aims high. We want to generate more revenue. If that means um, getting more stores all at the same time in the Chicagoland area, great. Uh, we want to increase our website presence uh, to where we can actually ship internationally. Garland, lines, and Star Wars stockings. Don says there is no limit to getting ugly. The owners say the key is to establish the customer's level of comfort with ugliness. Something fairly conservative like this, or go full on ugly with bells and whistles. But ugly doesn't come cheap. The sweaters range from $25 to $60 and customers seem happy to pay. Definitely, I, I mean, especially because it's got, with the lights too, uh, this is all custom made. They did it by hand. From Amazon to Alibaba to pro sports teams, ugly sweaters are raking in millions. But Don isn't afraid of competition. The big box companies, um, they manufacture thousands of the same sweater. We don't manufacture two of the same sweaters. And so Dan says he'll keep on turning up the volume of holiday cheer. Rosa Kazan, CCTV, Maple Grove, Illinois.